17 3 weather with Tom Kiffin. Well, it still feels like summer, at least it did today. <laughs> yeah, and it was on the warmer side for today. And as we look at the NMU webcam, Becca, you can see dry conditions out there. That grass still looks it's still green. still green, crisp and clean. <laughs> Just <laughs> green. green. And I'll tell you what, it's going to get a drink definitely, I think, on Wednesday. Tomorrow, maybe, but more so on Wednesday. Otherwise, you can see quiet conditions. Don't see too much in the way of fog out there. But we may run into some patchy fog across some UP spots. I do think we stay rain free as we go through the rest of the night. There's your high resolution radar here and I'll point out the landscape here. This is Marquette Houghton here and you can see across the arrowhead of Minnesota right here. We do have some rain showers and even some thunderstorms coming out of Canada. They're trying to head this way, but it's going to be a failed attempt. Reason being we do have dry air in place and thunderstorms really don't work well with dry air and you can see these thunderstorms are fading away and in fact we had some rain showers and thunderstorms across Western Lake Superior this evening, and they didn't make it into the Keweenaw Peninsula, reason being the dry air. All right, 906 Weather Watchers page here. We had the hawk versus the pigeon, apparently, and at Cindy Scheffler's place in at the in Escanaba, you can see that the hawk won. Yep. And I'll leave yeah. it at that. There's a lot of <laughs> bird feathers around, and the hawk, you know, just... Standing on top of his prey there in Escanaba. Thanks, Cindy, for sending that in. And as we look at Bonnie V's house, a little bit more peaceful. Yeah, let's just call peaceful it. peaceful bird action. Yes. Okay. <laughs> There's your hummingbird coming in to Bonnie V's hummingbird feeder here. Sugar water there. She got the bird in flight. Thanks, Bonnie, for sending that. And she also had another photo she sent in this weekend of a bigger hummingbird. And if we do have some time, I'll try to get to that. If not, it's on our 906 Weather Watchers page. Scroll back to the weekend. All right, Ron, it was a foggy start, definitely in Manistique. Marquette, we really didn't see the fog, but I was looking at observations this morning and Escanaba, over towards Manistique. They definitely had the fog and there's your picture confirmation of the fog in Manistique. Thanks Ron for sending that in. And then as we look at Bonnie V's place again, you can see she had a foggy start to the morning in Schoolcraft County. And then as we look at Robert Holterman, he said that he had another perfect late summer day. Yesterday, our sunsets are getting earlier, but he took a picture of the sunset and the windmill at the lake. Thanks, Robert, for sending that. And Don Anderson Sr. sent in a photo of a lily. Thanks for sending that in. And then also a butterfly. And then as we look at his rain gauge over the early part of the weekend, he picked up almost an inch of rain or about an inch of rain. All right, I made it out east. Back to Curtis this weekend. This is the Big Man of Steak Lake. A little bit down from Northern Exposure Resort on the west end of the lake and just perfect glass, Becca, and a rain shower out in the distance with a few rumbles of thunder, but it was so calm on the Manistique Lake that the cumulonimbus cloud was reflecting off the water there. So awesome photo that I got on the big Manistique Lake on Saturday evening. Then I'm going to go and try to find Bonnie B's hummingbird photo here. Oh, Ooh. I forgot about this one, and I'm <laughs> glad I scrolled on down. Joe Neuenbauer had a visitor this weekend here, and check this out on her um, cam there out on the lake. You can see big black bear just roaming around the patio chairs there. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Joe, for sending that in. And then the hummingbird one, that's the one I wanted to get there. Notice how the, and I know the she had to zoom in so the photo quality really isn't the greatest, but check this out. Look how large that hummingbird is compared to this one here. So definitely a bigger hummingbird at her place. We thank all our 906 weather watchers for sending in your bird photos, your hawk photos, and also your hummingbird photos as well. If you'd like to join our 906 weather watchers page, feel free to join on Facebook. Becca and I would love to show off your photos. All right, let's get you to our Max computer here and you can see on the temperatures. We do have temperatures that are in the 60s, so definitely cooler than or milder than last night. Last night at this point, it was really cooling off. Visibilities are A-OK -okay right now, but some patchy fog could develop. Future weather as we go into tomorrow, some rain showers and thunderstorms could pop up in the south central UP and across the interior west, but we all have a better rain and thunderstorm chance as we go into Wednesday along a cold front. Our community forecast will move through this quickly here. Low temperatures tonight as you go inland will be in the 50s. Tomorrow we're looking at temperatures in the 8 or at least approaching 80 as you go inland or the lower 80s, maybe a little bit cooler near Lake Superior. 70s on Wednesday with a better rain and thunderstorm chance for all of us and then a fall-like feel for Thursday. 
Thursday. Marquette's extended forecast will move through these extended forecasts a little bit quick. 78 for your Tuesday, 71 Wednesday for Escanaba and Gladstone. It's 81 for your Tuesday, 77 Wednesday, 74 Thursday. Iron Mountain, 83, warm with a chance of rain and thunderstorms. 78 Wednesday, a tad bit cooler on Thursday. And then for Houghton and Hancock in the Keweenaw Peninsula, 81 for your Tuesday, 71 Wednesday. As we get to the weekend for everyone, Becca, we are all looking at warmer temperatures with temperatures at least approaching 80 or going into the 80s. So warming up as we go into the weekend after a little bit of a hint of fall on Thursday.